Hi, this is Mish, or Mick, whatever you want to call me, and today I'm going to talk about the gift of tragedy. Is that just a clickbait title? No, because what it really means is that with every tragedy, there's, there's a lesson to be learned. And those lessons I see, I see as gifts. And I see it as turning something positive from something negative. And honestly, in my opinion, it's the only way to go about it. What other productive option do I have? If something terrible happens, if I lose my job or my girlfriend breaks up with me, or worse even, a family member gets sick or a family member even dies, sure, it's a, it's a terrible, horrible event. But after, after the dust settles and after I, if, I've you know, paid my, my respect and I get back to life, I can't focus all my energy on, on going back in the past. I can't focus the energy on, on being negative because it'll just create more negativity around me. So it's, it's, it's about finding a way to, to appreciate something from something positive from a negative experience. When my, my dad passed away when I was 25, he was 52, he, he was supposed to live 30 more years. I'm not spending all of my time wishing or, or saying or talking about how he had so much more time to live because that world doesn't exist. There's no world that exists that I can go back and, and prevent things or do any of that stuff. But what I, can, what I can do is say, wow, I had so many amazing memories with him. Um, him not being here has allowed me to learn true responsibility, has allowed me to fall flat on my face, has, has, has showed me my true colors. So that's the positive side of, of looking at something extremely negative. So I've made it part of my, my day-to-day routine or practice to to just find the most mundane, stupid things that happen to me that I could complain about easily. And instead of complaining about it, because that brings really no value, it brings absolutely no value. I'm into like, you know, good vibes and frequencies and stuff like that. And if I'm gonna be negative about something, then I'm, I'm pushing more negativity. If, if there's no parking and I have to walk a mile, I can, it's, it's the easy road to say, oh, look at this parking, this parking was a disaster. So when I meet the person that I'm going to meet, I, I talk about how, how negative my experience was from the far parking. Or I could say, hey, I parked really far and look how many extra steps in I got in today. Wow, that's, that's amazing. And so little, little things like that, even look, they're insignificant little things, but they do pile up. They, they do pile up. I, I guess it's another step thing, but my, my apartment, I guess when I started renting it, I didn't realize how far it was to the parking lot. It's not even in the same building. So in, in the same vein, I can, I can complain that it's so far and it's such a disaster. Or I can say it's helped me stay lean and I run into a lot of people and uh, I get more fresh air in the morning. It is what it is. But we always have the option to choose the, the easy complaining side or the positive side of things. And I really think that in this crazy world we live in and the crazy rules, we can only truly acquire wisdom, which is the true gift of life, through tragedy or failure or disappointment. It's the, it's the only way. It's, it's, there's got to be balance in the force. You can't get something without giving something. And the way I see, the way I see um, a tragic event it's, it's like paying for something. It's a heavy price you have to pay. But when tragedy strikes, you've paid. Now it's time to receive in exchange what you've paid for. If you net, and that's the gift, that's the wisdom, that's, that's what the exchange is all about. So if there's tragedy that happens and there's nothing gained, it means the tragedy went to waste. It means you got nothing out of it. And that's just the way, that's just the way I, I've started to look at things in the last couple of years and even even if someone's talking smack about me or a customer at work is being visited by competitors how do you spin that well if they're if competitors are visiting my customer and they they accepted them to come in then maybe our products falling short and here's an opportunity for us to make better products and, and be a better company because if their eyes are opening up then I thank that competitor for opening our eyes to, to showing us that maybe we have a lot more work to do. And, and you could just go on and on and no matter how ridiculous they might sound, 
once it became part of my, just my, my normal muscle memory thought process, it just, things just seem to get more positive and it's a lot more positive. And, and focusing the energy on the negative side will not do anything. It's completely unproductive. So it's way more productive to say something a little loony that's positive than to dwell and focus into this dark pit or vortex that I've created myself once upon a time. And look, I, I still fall into it. I'm not, I'm no perfect specimen of anything, that's for sure. But just looking at the positive of every situation, because there's an opportunity to look at both sides. And if we can see the positive in every situation, then we can, we can learn at a, at a hyper rate and, and embrace the world and, and be excited and not live in fear. Because these catastrophic or these crazy world altering events happen to destroy our world for us to pave a way into a new one. And so that's the opportunity. We're, we're looking into a, a new world now, a fresh path. Every, all the little insignificant things that held us back before are so trumped and dwarfed by these mag, magnum events that it's almost like, look, this stuff is just noise now. You can just go and, and do whatever you want. You can, go, you can go straight forward, pave your own way, do your own thing, start from scratch. And so that's how I see it. I'm kind of ranting a little bit, but essentially if something bad happens, it's, I don't know, it, it's a way... It's a gift presenting itself to you. And you could take it either way, but I think the most productive way is just to say, hey, this happened, shit happened. What can I learn from it? How can it help me on my path? And, and that's about it. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any uh, cool po uh, negative to positive little uh, stories or little things that you've done. And if you like it, let me know. And if you don't, let me know too because I need to know if this sucks or not. Have a nice day.